more lives at risk. That is the warning from first responders and tow truck drivers doing their work on, on the side of the road. ABC 13's Emily Swecker has more on a new tool those first responders are using to save their lives. We've all seen it happen, or maybe we're even the ones doing it. Passing an emergency vehicle as its lights are flashing and not moving over. Before on a fire call, I almost got hit while working the pump panels uh, at a fire. I, I mean, they really almost hit me. If you talk to a first responder or a tow truck driver, chances are they have a horror story about a driver who put their lives at risk. For Matthew Cash, it cost him his father. Track and trailer come through with little to no disregard with human life on the accident scene and um, did not see my father standing there and pinned him between his tractor and trailer and our truck. Now they're taking matters into their own hands. The Lynchburg Fire Department is stocking each fire engine and ladder truck with a speed bump. In a situation where we have a diminished lane, where we can divert all the traffic to one lane, uh, and we're working, say, in another lane, we can deploy the speed bump across the lane and then slow people down. The speed bump is relatively inexpensive, costing less than $300 a piece, and it's easy to use. It's very simple. Uh, it'll take us less than a minute uh, to get that thing on the road to slow people down. The speed bump is safe for your car and an easy reminder to slow down. At the end of the day, these men and women are giving their all to make sure we're safe, and all they're asking for in return is a little room to work. Every single time we go out, we have close calls. And it's scary because I like to go home at the end of the shift, and it scares me for my crew because I want my crew to go home at the end of the shift as well. Reporting in Lynchburg. Emily Swecker, ABC 13 News.